Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? This is Mike Reed here. Welcome back to another tour review by yours truly. Or in this case, it's yet another collection review. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't read the title already, this is going to be my collection of Bakugan G3 um, stuff. Since, uh, well, I'm sure probably a couple of you are wondering where the Bakugan content's been as of late. Well, sadly, it kind of seems like Gen 3 is kind of a bust. What do I mean by this? Well, essentially, there's nothing new coming out for G3, I think. Because trust me, I've been looking everywhere. Just for any bit of news that Bakugan's still relevant and is still going. Unfortunately, it seems like G3's cooked, guys. It seems like it's dead. <laughs> Which really sucks. Because... Uh, I, I understand that everyone has just had their gripes with G3. I understand that. And yes, it it kind of falls back on the same issues that plagued uh, the latter half of the first generation. But I think it still had some good ideas and I think had a bright future ahead of it. But uh, sadly, it doesn't seem like that's the case. So... With that said, I think now's probably a better time than ever to just take a look at everything I got for G3. Um, and finally, you know, put the Bakugan content to rest, you know, for a while. Until either something comes up for G3 and or they just start from scratch again. Who knows? But anyhow, so just like I did last time with Gen 2, um, aka uh, Battle Planet through Evolutions... Um, I'm going to start off with the cards, of course, uh, well, and of course just other accessories that I got for G3, um, and then of course with each subsequent part, because of course this will be separated into multiple parts, uh, we'll be looking at the actual, you know, figures themselves, and of course just all the different variations and all that good stuff, so... With that being said, let's just jump right in because we have quite a bit to look at here. So let's start off with uh, let's start off with gate cards. You know, what? let's start off with that since uh, that uh, because why not? Dare I say why not? So grabbing my massive deck <laughs> of gate cards here. Uh, let's just jump right in. With, uh, oh boy. So, we'll start off with this one here. Uh, actually, let me do it like this. Yeah. So, just starting off, we have this, uh, what is this? Inset Clan gate card. Pretty nice looking. And, of course, we have yet another one of these. Okay. Oh, and I see. Yeah, because I forgot that each one like forms like a little map type thing. Right. So that's pretty cool. Next up here we have ooh, a Dragon Clan one. Very nice looking. Then we have another Dragon Clan one. And yet some more Dragon Clan. Very nice, sort of fiery volcanic design. Ooh, yep, some more Dragon Clan going on. Let's see what's this one. Okay, just yet yeah, more Dragon Clan. <laughs> and of course, we have another Dragon Clan one. Yeah, you're supposed to look at it like that, I think. Yeah. And we got. Okay. Looks like I got a couple duplicates in here. Oh yeah, another Dragon Clan one. Very, very nice. Oh, finally, something that's actually different here. <laughs> Again, love that sort of fiery design there. That's fun. Okay. Yep. So... Yeah, lots of duplicates in here. But then again, considering how G3 worked with the different products, how you would just 
you know, get the cards at random, it's it's not surprising that there's going to be duplicates in here. So, hopefully soon we'll actually get on to like Aquatic Clan or something. You know, a change of scenery for once. Oh, here we go. Oh, Dino Clan. Okay. Very nice. Looking. Okay. Got like a tar pit thing going on. Yeah. And we're almost halfway through the gate cards. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of these. So. Oh, man. Okay. Which one is this? Oh, this is Mammal Clan. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of like grassy looking. Hmm. Put that in upside down. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. So. Very, very nice. Which one is this? Okay. Still Mammal Clan. Do I have any Avian Clan in here? I don't remember. I think I do. But. Oh, jeez. <laughs> More Mammal Clan action. Okay. Avian Clan, finally! Yeah, with the sort of like sky backdrop. Which I guess makes sense, considering they're all supposed to be like birds, basically. So, that makes sense. Get some more avian clan action going on there. So, very, very nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry I'm not commentating too much on these cards, because again, most of them are just kind of the same thing, but, ooh, aquatic clan. Very, um,. Wavy <laughs> going on there. Oh, and then we get like this underwater cave aesthetic. That's kind of interesting. And we got another one. And then I believe this is the last gate card. Yep, my last one. Nice. All right, so that was all my gate cards for my G3 collection. So. Let's go ahead and move on to, uh, let's do character cards next. Now, I think we should start off with the standard Bakugan uh, get cards uh, for this generation. So, we'll just start with those. <clears throat> so, again, taking out my deck here. Of course, they all have the same sort of backing here with the Bakugan G3 logo on it. We'll just get started with uh, Aquatic Clan Octagon here. Very, very nice looking. And then after that, we have my green octagon. And then we have my black one, or purple. No, I think it's black. Ooh, and then we have my street brawl version. Very nice. Then after that, we have my, ooh, Diamond Hammerhead. Yeah, I love the aesthetic of the diamonds for this generation. Really happy these came back for G3, because these were probably one of the coolest, like, I guess you could say special treatment designs that they did for G2. So, then we got a green Hammerhead. And we got a black one. Ooh, you get a little special effect there. Can't remember what that is. I believe that's Collision, I think that was called. And you get like an extra 200 to your stats. So that's nice. And we have a red hammerhead. And then we have, ooh, street brawl um, blue one. Okay. <clears throat> and then moving on, we have a uh, butterclaw. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the kind of creepy looking crab. Compared to last generation's, what was it, Vice Rocks? Yeah. So now you have a red one here. And ooh, now we're moving on to Avian Clan with uh, Ventry. Yep. And then we have my red one, which looks like it has some sort of special effect there. I believe that was Reroll, I think that was. I can't remember what that was. And then we have a black Ventry. Yeah, so if you have two purple Bakugan, you would get an extra 200. 
No, that, that, that's one of the few things I did not like about this generation. Like, why does the color of the Bakugan matter? Like, why? <laughs> anyway, then we have this nice green bruiser for Mammal Clown. And we have a blue one. And we have this nice white one. And then we have this uh, ooh, Street Brawl Red. Or is that... Well, I, th I believe the figure itself was more brown, but okay, sure, red. <laughs> and we have, okay, Dino Clan with Trox, looking very nice there. Then we have my black Trox. Ooh, yeah, Diamond Trox. Look how nice that looks. And you get the little ability there, which I can't for life me remember what that was. Hmm. And then we have, yeah, the green street bra one. And then we have ooh, titanium trox. Yeah. Looking very nice there. And we have a white titanium trox, which again, love this design for titanium trox. He's got like a full suit of armor now. <laughs> and now moving on to Dragon Clan. Of course, I gotta start off with the goat himself, Dragonoid. And so, looking pretty nice here. Not the best Dragonoid design in the world, but it's not terrible. So, then we have Titanium Dragonoid looking very, very menacing there. And of course, I have a white one. Very nice. <laughs> then we got a blue one. Oh yeah, and I forgot I had another red titanium dragon. I think I got that through one of the training sets. Yeah. Then we have Nilius, looking pretty nice for this generation, I would say. Then we have a blue one. And then we have my Diamond Nilius. Yeah, again, I love the diamond aesthetic here. Just so, so cool. Oh, I also you get the little collision ability thing again. So that's nice too. Ooh, then we have Smoke. Yeah, one of the newer characters. T totally not just uh, Phaedrus again. But, yep. So those are all the standard Bakugan character cards right there. All in all, pretty solid little collection there. Boa, show up. Let's go ahead and move on now to the special attack character cards, of which there are plenty. So let's just jump right into these. Starting with the white gold special attack octagon. Yep, pretty nice looking. Then we have the titanium special attack hammerhead. And next up here for Avian Clan, we have Titanium Special Attack Ventry. And we also have this nice green one. Looking very nice indeed. Then for Mammal Clan, we have the Gold Special Attack Bruiser. It looks like it has the collision ability thing again. I believe that's what that's called. Of course, someone in the comments can correct me. Uh, then we have a green gold special attack bruiser here. Oh, yeah, and then we have the diamond gold special attack bruiser. Very, very cool. What if you have two Mammal Clan back going and you get an extra 200 to your stats? Very cool. Oh, and then we have a street brawl gold special attack bruiser. And if you have three Mammal Clan back going, you get an extra 300. Nice. The next up for Dragon Clan, we have, of course, the goat himself, Gold Special Attack Dragonoid. Very interesting looking design there. And then we have, of course, the Diamond Gold Special Attack Dragonoid, which, oh my god, again, I love the Diamond Aesthetic, it's so good! Anyway, so, and then we have a Street Brawl version of the Gold Special Attack Dragonoid as well. Oh. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Titanium Special Attack Dragonoid. Looking very menacing there. And I have another one. Ooh, with Collision. 
or whatever that's called again. Very nice. And then, oh my god, I have another Titanium Special Attack Dragonoid? Okay. This time with the green thing on it. Okay, cool. Then we have Nilius here. Very nice red Nilius. Then we have a black Street Brawl Nilius. And then we have the, what was this? The Galactic Gold Special Attack Nilius. Yeah, I, I love the Galactic um, Special. I think that's what that was called. Um, the Special Treatment. Just looked really, really nice. So. Then we have the Titanium Special Attack Nilius. Interesting Knight aesthetic. Don't know. I mean, it works for Nilius, but at the same time, it's like, why? <laughs> And then moving on to Insect Clan, we have Goal Special Attack Manted. And then we have a Street Brawl, Gold Special Attack Manted. And that was all my special attack Bakugan character cards. Again, solid little collection, all things considered. Ugh. All right, let's move on to oh God, the no, just the standard cards. I don't know what you call these. Um, ability cards, I would guess. And of course, we got plenty of these. Very nice Bakugan G3 logo on the back. So let's just jump right into these as well. Starting off with uh, Dan. <laughs> Very nice looking. Even though, of course, yeah, <laughs> that's, I mean, yes, it's Dan Cuso from, from G1 and G2, but like, what, what happened here? <laughs> kind of goofy looking. And then I have another Dan behind that. Very nice indeed. And another one. Okay, duplicates. That's fun. Okay, interesting looking Dan going on here. So, very, very nice indeed. Ooh, and some more Dan action coming at you. Pretty nice. And another one. Ooh, and next up we have uh, Juno here with uh, Bruiser. So, nice to have a female lead character. Especially in a franchise like this. I mean, she's no Leah Venegas, but uh, she was all right. At least, at least a little bit of the G3 show I watched. The very, very little bit I watched of it. And then we got a different artwork here for Juno again. Very nice. And we get duplicates. Fun. And then we get another Juno card here. She has got a lot of Juno in here. Okay, here we go. Next up here we have Backslash. Interesting sort of spider design going on for him. <laughs> and we get duplicates already. Oh my god, more <laughs> duplicates. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, this is cool looking. So yeah, I believe this was his partner back who got in the show, uh, Spydra. Yeah, I never got Spydra, but eh, it's pretty cool looking. It's no Webum, but eh, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. And eh, duplicates yet again. Ooh, moving on now, we have Mia. Okay. Kind of cute looking. <laughs> right there. And then we get another one. Sort of like a dynamic pose going on there. <laughs> And we have another Mia card there. Oh, and there you have her with her partner Bakugan, um, Ventry. So, that's pretty nice. And next up we have Griffin. Okay. Yeah, I believe his partner was Trox in the show. So. Don't know what happened to the last guy, but... They, I mean good enough 
I would say. So, Ooh, and next up we have Thunder Crunch here. Yeah, I believe his partner was Hammerhead in the show. Yeah. So, pretty nice art for these. Ooh, and then we have Cage. Yeah, I believe he was one of the villains, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and his partner was Nilius. Before, I believe, the... I believe somebody else in the show later took Nilius. I can't remember what his name was. But that is pretty neat looking. And that's all my ability cards there. Not all in all, not too bad of a little set there. And last, but certainly not least for the cards, we have the, um, what were these called? The, <laughs> the, the, the ring cards. I can't remember what these were called. The little attack rings that you would, that you would put on the special attack weapons on. So let's take a look at those. And of course, for each one, they have different backings on them. So, for example, we have some of the, we have this white for the titanium special attack weapons, and then of course for the gold special attacks, you get these gold-looking ones like this. So, but anyhow, taking a look at them. First and foremost, we have blade swords. Pretty neat looking. Then we have yet another blaze swords. And then next up we have some diamond blaze swords. Very cool. And I got another diamond blaze swords there. Ooh, and then we have a street brawl blaze swords. You can tell because of the like graffiti design on the bottom. So that's pretty neat. And yet some more just standard blaze swords. Moving on, next up we have some star flails. Very interesting, so I like a ball and chain design. Get some more star flails there. Ooh, we have a titanium, was that street brawl star flails? Interesting. And moving on, we have the galactic scorch whips. Pretty neat. And then we have some normal Scorch Whips behind that. Yet some more Scorch Whips. And we have some Street Brawl Scorch Whips. Very nice. And next up we get Titanium Blazing Warrior there. And we get Street Brawl Titanium Blazing Warrior. Very neat. Next up, we're going back to gold special attacks here. We got Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. Pretty nice looking, and I believe these go with Bruiser in the show. So, we get some Street Brawl ones in there too. Ooh, and then we have some Jagged Scales. Yeah, I believe these go with the Titanium Nilius, special attack Nilius. And then we get Steel Warrior. Okay. And I think that's it. Yep. So those are all the special attack weapon ring cards. Can't remember what they're called specifically. But all in all, again, pretty solid cards, all things considered. Now let's move on to some other accessories. Starting off with the, well... Might as well look at the actual special attack rings themselves. So let's take a look at those. So we got. So we're gonna start off with uh, this one. I believe this is the Steel Warrior. It's a little bit bent. <laughs> it's gotta bend it back into shape there a little bit. Pretty nice orange-looking um, ring, even though it's kind of hard to see the detail because of the translucent plastic. A very nice little ring. And next up we have this one. I believe this was the Blazing Warrior. I can't remember. 
but it is Street Brawl, and you can tell because of the little um, clan symbol there. But pretty nice black aesthetic going on there. So do quite like that. And moving on, we have, I believe these are the Star Flails. Yeah, and this is a Street Brawl one, and you can tell because of the gold clan symbol on the Star Flail there. But other than that, pretty nice looking little bit of weaponry. Next up we have ooh, some more Street Brawl weapons. Yeah, again, you can tell because of the clan symbol on the tip there. But other than that, pretty solid little set of weaponry. If the camera would focus on it. Yeah. <laughs> pretty nice. Moving on, we got ooh, some more star flails. In this case, in this nice blue. So that is very, very nice as well. And then it looks like we got another one of this. I believe these are the blaze swords. I can't remember what these were called. But you get them in this very nice sort of yellowy color. Or it's more like, it's kind of like amber almost. But yeah. Pretty nice looking. Oh jeez. Now I got some more of the sword things again. Again in that same sort of amber orangey color. Very nice looking. Ooh, and then we have some more street brawl stuff here. I believe these are the scorch whips. And you could tell again that it's Street Brawl because of the little logo on there, the little clan symbol. But yeah, and I find it funny how most of these Street Brawl ones are all in this sort of like ashy smoke, this smoky sort of black color. Very strange. Ooh, the next up we have the, uh, oh, which one is this? Oh, is this the, um, what is it? The one that Nilius has. Dang it. Which one was that now? Yeah, that's the Jagged Scales. Uh-huh. Okay. Just had to quickly check. So, one, the finally, one that I can actually kind of remember the name of. Yeah, this is the Jagged Scales. Pretty, pretty sharp looking. So, but yeah. Very, uh, very pointy, <laughs> that one. <laughs> and then moving on, we have, uh, hmm, some light blue scorch whips. Pretty neat. And then next up here, again, I'm just kind of pulling these all at random, if you, that wasn't obvious. Uh, ooh. We have this street brawl, what is this? The hammer and the axe. Yeah, the flare axe and smash hammer. I believe it was called. Yeah. With the little... And again, you can tell it's Street Brawl because of the little clan symbol on the hammer. All in all, pretty clean set of weaponry for sure. And next up we have... Oh god, more of the sword ones again. In this case, this sort of dark... Sort of Fanta orangey color. So that is very nice. Got yet some more Flare Axe Smash Hammer action here. In this case, in the sort of off orangey color. Now we got a green Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. Got some very nice orange scorch whips. And now we got yet a darker orange pair of scorch whips. Oh boy, more orange swords here. Got a... 
There we go. Go ahead, you know, green one of the sword things again. Got yet another orange pair of scorch whips. Gosh, gosh, dang it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ugh, accidentally dropped on the floor. Right. And then last, but certainly not least, this light blue shark cage, which for some reason I never got a card for. But hey, at least I remember the name of it, shark cage. And with that, that basically wraps it up for um, for that. So again, saw a little collection of weapons there. Moving on, might as well take a look at uh, the rip cards that you get for this generation. So, got a nice deck of these. <clears throat> So, again, just gonna kind of pull these at random here. I guess we'll start off with this green rip card. Now, how these rip cards work, if uh, for those that don't remember, is essentially you're supposed to put your cards in into the front here. They kind of slide in on the front, and then you can actually use the rip cord here. You can unfold it and use these and use this with the special attack back of gun. So, no idea what the little spot on the back is for. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a belt clip or something. I have no idea. But I do like the fact that it has the Bakugan logo molded into the plastic there. So that is pretty nice. And, of course, you get them in all kinds of different colors. So here's a black one. And then we got a couple white ones here. So... Then we got, oh boy, three red ones. Holy crap, look at this. Got one, two, three of the red ones. So that is pretty nice. And last but not least, I got this dark blue rip card. But yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, there we have my rip card collection there. All in all, solid little collection, even if most of them are just recolors. Alright, so next, let's take a look at... Just some miscellaneous stuff real quick uh, before we move on to the big stuff because there are a couple big things that I want to take a look at as well. So I guess we might as well start off with the little accessories that you get for the different arenas. So you got these little cups here that go with the stadium or battle arena. I believe you get four of these. Yeah. Yeah, there. Okay. And then here are two more of the little cup things. So. There you have those. Then next up, you get some little, um, I don't know what you want to call these totems that you use with the stadium, you use these with the special attack Bakugan, and you try to see how many of these you can knock over. And what's nice is that I believe each of them, no, I thought each of them had like a different design on it, but no, they're all just literally the same thing. So, and you get three of these with the arena. So, pretty dull looking. <laughs> kind of looks like a weird fish or something. Very strange little things. Next up, you get some clan flags to use with the training sets. In this case, we have the dragon clan ones. And you get three of these suckers. Ugh. So you guys can see. 
pretty, pretty neat. And then we have three aquatic clan flags that you use with the aquatic clan arena or training set. You get three of these. Pretty neat looking. Okay. Dropping everything. Oh boy. <clears throat> All right. Um, moving on. <laughs> we have uh, these two flags that go with the ballerina. Pretty neat. <clears throat> and that's about it for the little arena accessories and training set accessories. So that's a thing. <laughs> and I guess because just because, might as well throw in all the little posters and um, little collectors pamphlets that you get for this generation. So. Starting off with uh, this little collector's pamphlet, you can see, I believe this is the entirety of Wave 1 and Wave 2 for G3 here, so you can see that. Pretty neat looking. God, folding this thing up is a real pain. There we go. Then next up we get, what is this? Oh, is this the little mini poster thing? <gasps> yes, it is, okay. So here you have the mini poster for G3. Pretty cool. And do I get multiple of these? Oh yeah, I got like a whole bunch of these. Yeah, I got, well, how many of these now? Yeah, I got four of the same mini poster. I got four of them. Don't know why I have four, but I have four of them. Then we have, what's this? Oh, these are the instructions for the battle arena. I'm not going to bother showing that. Uh, oh, we got some more collector pamphlets here. Are these showing off any new ones here? Oh, yeah, I think this one is updated a little bit. Yeah. Little pamphlet there. So, that's uh, pretty nice looking. And we get another little collector's pamphlet. Collector's guide, whatever you want to call it. I believe this is. No, it's just the same one. Never mind. It's just the same one. Last but certainly not least. I believe you get this with the battle arena. You get this, uh, oh my god. Ugh. This little um, Bakugan battling rule book, which uh, just gonna kind of flip through this briefly. Of course, just kind of showing off like how the battling game works and how, and, and how you play the game. And of course you get it in different languages. So, that is pretty nice. So, oh boy. Ah, oh, come on. So, pretty nice little bit of paperwork there. And with that, I think that, well, actually, <laughs> I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I got to take a look at some of the arenas and training sets. So, quick jump cut here, and uh, we'll get some of those out. So, see you guys in a bit. All right. So, let me just quickly get the turntable as well. almost forgot. 
because we're actually going to need it for this part. <laughs> okay, oop, doesn't seem out that much. There we go. Okay, so starting out, we'll take a look at this uh, aquatic clan training set. So, pretty neat looking little training set. And of course, to add to the look, you're supposed to use the little aquatic clan flags I showed before. And you just want to take those and just kind of set them up on their little peg holes on the top. And you just stick the flags in there however you want. And now you have the training set all finished there. So, of course, you're intended to, like, you roll the Bakugan down here. Of course, you have little spots up here to hold three Bakugan. You can also roll the Bakugan down a little wave pool there. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is, like, a little shark hiding underneath this little corner of the training set there. Let me see if I can get you guys to see that. If you see that little, like, gray thing back there, yeah, that's a little shark hiding in the water there, which I think is a super neat little detail um, and then of course right here you got this big old spinner thing which if you twist that back you can you got this little spinner yeah so you just twist it lock it up and then when your special attack back gone hit it see it spins so that's pretty cool and of course just to quickly give this thing a little 360 you guys can see all the little details on the training set. All in all, neat little addition uh, to the G3 lineup here. And what's also cool is you can actually attach these training sets to the battle arena to customize them. And I believe that this also came with a little, like extension piece that you can attach to the sides and you can actually make a little battle arena if you get like three or four of these little training sets so that is super cool sadly i don't have all the training sets but nah i think these two are more than enough to kind of get the idea of what these training sets are all about so next up we have the dragon clan one which uh yeah not too much different from the aquatic clan one isn't it and of course you can attach the little clan flags to it just like you did with the aquatic clan one. So let me just grab little dragon clan flags. And again, they're just little peg holes on the back and you just gently peg them into place. And there you have the training set all built up there. So, again, just like the Aquatic Clan one, you have a little slot here where you can roll your Bakugan out of. You got three spots to hold three different Bakugan. Of course, you get another little slope to roll the Bakugan down. And you also have this little special attack sort of obstacle, this little uh, paddle, which if the Bakugan hits it, it smacks them away. So it's like a little ping, it's almost like a little pinball paddle. So that's what that does. And just like the Aquatic Clan one, you do get a little extension piece, which you can attach to the sides. And again, you can make like a little ballerina out of it, or you can attach it directly to the G3 ballerina. So again, pretty neat little training set. Alright, so we're going to have to do a quick jump cut again because, oh boy, actually, it's actually going to require a little bit of setup to get the main battle arena out here because, as you guys can remember, it's pretty darn big. So, I'm going to have to make some room here on the review table and uh, then we'll take a look at the main battle arena. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I got all the parts for the battle arena, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys once again how you assemble it. So first you take the two little base plate pieces, looks like that, and you just gently peg those together. Like 
like that. And then you take these little side pieces and you just gently slot these on the sides like that. And they should just gently uh, click into place. So you got something that kind of looks like that for now. And then for the sides, you want to take these little side pieces, these big old side chunks, and you just want to gently peg those into place on the sides. Like that. So, it's already looking pretty good. But now we got to add the side pieces. So, you take these little side parts and you just click those into place like so. And of course this one wants to be difficult. Okay, there we go. And then last but not least, you gotta take the little cups that I showed from before and little clan flags. And you just wanna take the cups specifically, little cup things, and they'll just snap on to the little side pieces here. So you just line them up. And as you'll see, they just gently click into place. And you want to do that on all four sides. So just click that one in. Click this one in. And then click the other one in. And then last but not least, you just you snap in little clan flags. Again, they're little peg holes, just like on the training sets, and you just peg those right in. And there you have your battle arena. And my god, is this thing big. So, as you guys can see, uh, it does look pretty, pretty nice once it's all built, even though it is, as you can tell, quite large. Uh, you get, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22 slots to hold Bakugan. So you get plenty of spots for your Bakugan to set. Uh, you also have these little phone mounts, which originally these were intended um, to, so that way you you were intended to like record battles with it. But as I've demonstrated before, that doesn't really work because these are kind of crappy phone mounts. But hey, they tried. Uh, you can also you can also uh, use your cards with this too, so you can like put your cards in here um, as well. So that is pretty cool. Uh, what else you got here? Oh, you got the little obstacles that you can use. So just like with the training sets, you get this little paddle here, uh, as well as the one. Two, what is this? One, two, two, three, four. Yeah, so you get four little ramps to roll the back of gone down. Of course, over here you get a little spinner, which if you lock that back. There we go, you get the little spinner over there. And yeah, so <laughs> of course how you're intended to use this when it comes to battling is, well, you just grab some gate cards. So let me grab some gate cards. And there are four slots in the middle. And you wanna put the cards into the middle. I don't know if I can show this. Yeah, I think this is a good angle for this. So see the cards just kinda slot into the four little dedicated slots. So. That's what that looks like. And of course, you can also set up the little totems. So you can have those in here. Like that. And then you can go ahead and launch your Bakugan into the stadium and or just roll them into the arena. So that is pretty neat. Now, to quickly demonstrate how you would put the the actual 
like training sets, how you would attach those to the arena. It's very simple. All you really do, and you can attach them to any of the four sides. Any of the four sides you can attach them to. So just to demonstrate, if we were to just remove this side piece, we could take like, for example, the Dragon Clan training set, and we can just attach that right here, just like that. So now you got this kind of aesthetic going on here. But I think to really complete the look, we got to take off the other side. And then we just attach the Aquatic Clan training set onto it. And again, that just gently clicks into place. And now we got an arena. Now we're talking. Yeah, so that's a really cool aesthetic. And again, if you had two more of them, you could just remove these pieces on the sides here. You could replace those with some training sets. So you could get this whole, like, clan sort of elemental aesthetic to it, which I think looks super, super cool. But yeah, really, really neat. And just, again, to quickly show how it would look on the other sides real quick, we just pop these off. Okay. And then we take these and we'll just gently pop those back in. And then we can take the side pieces and very carefully remove them. So just pop these off. And then you can attach. For example, I could put the Aquatic Clan one in here, even though it's going to be kind of tricky to squeeze it in there. But it, I believe it does fit, even with the little flags on there. So you just click that in. There you go. Okay, looks like you're going to have to remove at least one of the clan flags on the aquatic clan one that I'm using here to actually get this to sit. So that kind of sucks. And then on the other side, you can attach the dragon clan one. So, but yeah, I think, well, I think for, for the best, um, right, we should probably just remove the flags because those are going to get in the way of the little phone stand. So just remove the flags, which kind of sucks. But, eh, it's fine. And then you just peg that on. And there you have it with the clan um, training sets on the sides there. Again, very, very nice looking. So, and of course, with them attached on the sides, I should probably also mention, you can still activate the gimmicks. So if you wind up the little spinner there, the spinner still works, and of course, the little paddle. That still works. Just like it did on its own. So that is super, super cool. But yeah, <laughs> that's the battle arena for you. Oh, pretty neat little thing. Now, what would have been nice is that they did do a special battle arena that came, with, that came in a different color and actually came with a couple of the training sets as well. But, eh, sadly, I never got it. Not to mention it was way too expensive for what it was, all things considered. But, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for part one of the Bakugan G3 collection review. If you guys did enjoy this one, then please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified for all my uploads. The Aries Squad, and see you in part two.